Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over a few interesting pieces of eye candy from deep space astronomers, but the main focus is here at the Sun. An X-class solar flare erupted yesterday, and while it is not aimed at Earth, it presents a concern in two ways. First, the last 24 hours saw the departure of the coronal hole to the right, a flash, an eruption event on the left, followed by a much calmer rotation the last 12 hours with plasma filaments all over, and we're watching for more today. But it's another day or two when we'll have a watch a bit more. The sunspot that unleashed the X-class flare is turning in towards Earth-facing position. Eruptions in the coming days definitely could be aimed at Earth as it stands. The eruption from yesterday is presenting a second concern in the apparent mass of the CME. The size of this eruption, wow, rivals the biggest eruptions of the STO era from 2011, 2012, and 2017. Fantastic display of erupting fire. We're lucky this was not aimed at Earth, because it's dense enough to warrant significant concern if it was Earth-directed, especially with the X-Class flare instigation. Thank whoever you thank for good luck and Pray that continues as the sunspot turns in to face our planet over the coming days. Seismicity up next. Big ones continue with a 6.6 .6 at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Luckily, nobody around to feel that one. And so we're heading next to Chandra, where a Type 1a supernova remnant that created a vast array of elements in its explosion is giving away those ingredient lists with spectral signatures of what was left behind. They say that what's likely left is a stellar mass black hole, and while that is a long topic for another day, stellar mass black holes are probably the most absurd of the science in all of black hole territory. So let's scale up out into a larger scale of the Milky Way. Folks, the Gaia mission has ended. It's been one of the most fruitful endeavors in space history. The amount of new information we have because of it, including a lot on the wobble, wave, and ripple of the galactic current sheet, has changed science forever and pushed astronomical knowledge further than it had gone in the entire history of the scientific field before it. Folks, there is so much happening at the ranch this summer. Pick your time, book your stay at ObserverRanch.com or give us a call and we'll talk you through it. If you can't make the bigger events, just tell the team when you want to say hi and I'll find a way to come out and get there. I'll come even if there's just one observer, provided you don't just show up without any notice. Come see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.